Hey guys, what's going on? Mighty Leafy here, and today I'm trying to make a video on the worst, or possibly the best, summoning banner to have ever come out of Fire Emblem Heroes, depending on how you look at it. So, yeah, let's expand a little bit more on that. Alright guys, so taking a look here, we have the 12 heroes that can possibly appear as a 4 star focus in this banner. And likewise, they can also appear as a 5 star focus unit. Um, of course, they can also come as just the normal 4 star unit, or they can come as the normal 5 star unit. But anyways, earlier on I did mention that, you know, this could be one of the worst banners ever to come out of Fire Emblem Heroes since, you know, I, I guess since whenever. But um, the reason for that is none of these units are particularly good as a 5-star unit. Um, now I'm sure that, you know, character preference and all that stuff, you can build any character you want to be effective as a 5-star unit. Case in point, I do have a 5-star Fae. 5-star Fae is actually uh, the one exception in this banner. She is actually extremely good. Um, aside from her, I don't think any of the other heroes are very, you know, very popular in the meta. You just don't really see them that often as 5-stars or that are being built up. That's not to say that they're not good. They're just... They just require more investment into building. But on to why I think, you know, like from, if you look at it from another point of view, this could be one of the best banners. And that is because all of these heroes right here, all 12 of them, they they are exceptionally good for uh, skill fodder. They all come with very good skills that you might want on units that are not these units. So... They will have something to give to one of your other units. Um, case in point, Hinata at 4 star gives off Fury 3. And then Abel gives off Swordbreaker 3. Matilda gives off Castle Affinity 2. Which is um, pretty much all you need to neutralize the uh, Raven Tomb advantage. Unless you want to go one step further and do Castle Affinity 3. In which you reverse the advantage. Faye has Renewal 3. But she's also a really good dragon. She also has Threaten Attack 3. Um, Frederick. Mm, Frederick comes with Luna. And Wings of Mercy 2. And at 5 star he can get... Uh, Friends of Mercy? What? Wings of Mercy 3 at 5 star only, but at that point you would probably try to inherit his hammer or something. Well, I guess you could just get 1 and 2 off a 4 star and then get the hammer from the 5 star version if you do pull him. Um, Rebecca has Darting Blow 1, 2, 3, Ardent Sacrifice. She gets Silver Bow Plus at a 5 star level, so that's not very good. Um, she's basically like Florina at 4 star. So why is Florina not here? Oh well. Um, Setsuna, she comes with the Assassin Bow Plus if you manage to get her at 5 stars. Which you can then upgrade to a Guard Bow uh, via Weapon Refinery. Which is going to be very good for those of you who has pulled a um, Halloween Jacob. Who's a, who is a armored... Uh, Archer, who benefits great, greatly from the built-in distant defense 3 that the guard bow has. Um, but if you do pull her as a 4 star, um, fear not. She has bow breaker 3, which is incredibly powerful in the meta right now. Uh, because there's a lot of brave lins running around. Mm, I guess we'll have to wait till the horse emblem stuff dies out before... We uh, can calm down on the boat breaker. Alright, so I skipped over Laszlo, right? Uh, he's got, I think, noontime, was it? The two turn cooldown, heal 30% HP kind of thing. He's also got, got an axe breaker 1, 2, 3 at um, 4 star rarity, I think. I'm, I'm not too sure, actually. But yeah, what. 
some of you might be asking or wondering, like, you know, noontime sucks, but you know what? It does kind of suck, but uh, it's very good for certain situations. Those situations being whenever the Camilla Warriors map is up and you want to grind SP, you want to put all these healing specials on all your units that you're grinding SP for so they can have a little bit of self-sustain. Another thing is um, if you put the self-sustainable uh, healing specials on your characters, they'd be way more efficient on Tempest Trials auto runs. And yeah. Alright, so let's talk about the top four heroes right up there. Um, Barst. Every time I got him, I just sacrifice him for reposition, so obviously he has that. Other than that, I actually don't know what Barst comes with. Um, I guess I'll check at the end of this. But Oscar, he comes with Rally Speed and Defense 3. Wait. No, that's a assist skill. There's, there's no one, two, three. He just comes with rally speed slash defense. If you manage to give him a five star, he comes with the Sapphire Lance Plus. One of the few characters, I believe, that comes with a Sapphire Lance Plus, but you only really need the normal Sapphire Lance because you want to use it defensively. And with the uh, non plus version, you're missing out on four weapon might, but it also already gives you the 20% um, color advantage thing um, what else does he have he has Lance Breaker 1 2 3 so if you guys need that no longer do you have to sacrifice your Na Nasians for it you can just grab a Oscar and then he will have um, Lance Breaker 3 but not many people use Lance Breaker and you guys probably all have lots of Lance Breakers on Ryan Hearts anyways so but um, Klein, Klein has, well, let's get to Klein after this. Uh, I want to I wanna talk about Roy, though. Roy, um, Roy is pretty hard to pull outside of this banner in general because the, the red roster has so many characters and it's so diverse. And even when you're pulling for focus units, um, you have quite a high chance to get off focus units just because... Like say, I don't know, just like for example, if the red pool of heroes is like 50 heroes and then, oh, the blue heroes might only have like 25 heroes or something. It's, it's, it's not like that, trust me. Um, I'm, I'm just making up the numbers here, but just for example, you know, like there's so many heroes in the red pool that you, when you want somebody really specific, it's really, really hard. Um, and... Roy is the only character in the entire game that gives Triangle Addict 3 at a 4 star rarity so that's mostly what people want him for as a 4 star but if you do get him as a 5 star um, he is a little bit lackluster even though he is the main protagonist of his own game that's kind of strange his Binding Blade which is his signature weapon from his game I, I believe not not entirely sure you guys would have to let me know because I, I haven't played it um but it's very not great in comparison to all the other the majority of the other legendary weapons but here's to uh hoping that it gets a eventual weapon refinery uh much like i hope the falcyon will get a eventual uh weapon refinery because those weapons have just been power crept to nothing they, they, they're so bad now. They're, they're so niche. So Klein then. Klein is um, an encyclopedia on skill fodder. Basically, he has uh, Death Blow 3. He is the only unit to come with Death Blow 3 at a 4-star rarity, so that is very good. Now, if you get him as a 5-star rarity, he does come with a Brave Bow Plus, Death Blow 3. Obviously, he already came with that as a 4-star. And he also comes with Quick Repost three if you get him as a five star so um that will be very good for your dragons or just any defensive teams i mean defensive units especially now with the uh quick repose sacred seal they might be thinking well it's kind of dumb to run double quick repose but the thing is um if you're going up against units that are using wary fighter and they uh say no no to your uh doubling then the negation only 
you know counteracts one of one instance of the quick repost so double quick repost against single wary fighter um yeah they they just they'll have to be more wary they'll have to be double wary to uh negate that shit but uh yeah, I'm, I'm just going to keep that line in, you know? Okay, so... Like I was saying before, I would check Barsta's skill. Barsta's skill? And that sounds weird. Um, I, I, I don't actually know what hell he has. Okay, he has Hammer, he has Luna, okay. Wait, no, that's Frederick, man. What the hell? Yeah, okay. Okay, so he's got Brave Axe. Um, knockback? No one uses Knockback? Who the hell uses knockback? Okay, so if you get bars, it's basically reposition, which you can also get from a three star um, Selena. And I think that's it. Why is bars here? He's only good for repo. And you can get him as a three star. Man, this is a bad pick. Should pick someone else. Oh my god. Okay, well, the, the good news is if you get him as a um, five star, you can get a Brave Axe Plus, which is, um, uh, gives not bad. Who uses Brave Axe Plus? Camilla, where he comes with it. I don't know. Um, I guess I could give it to my Azura, but nah, not really. Right, so if you pull him. Probably it's it's probably gonna be for the reposition, but I think that might be good enough because reposition is um, debatably one of the best assist skills in the entire game. So that being said, I hope you guys have a fun time pulling on this banner. I personally am not going to pull on this banner, but I have already done my free summon, and I've gotten a four star Rebecca. So. Starting Blow and Ardent Sacrifice for me. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, feel free to comment, like, and subscribe. Otherwise, check out my Discord server if you're interested. Uh, check out my Twitter or just tweet me or whatever. I'll catch you guys next time.